Hey guys, so I'm really excited to tell you about the new beverage that's coming to Dunkin' Donuts. It's called the Nitro Coffee. Okay? What it is, it's cold brew infused with nitrogen. Um, it's for a bold taste, a smooth, creamy texture, and it's served cold without no ice. Alright guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble a Nitro Coffee. First thing you do is take a cup, only available in small sizes, and you're going to mark it N for Nitro. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your cold brew, and you're going to pour it right up to the fill line. Then you're going to take your canister. You're going to squeeze your cup a little bit to make a spout, and you're going to pour it in. After you do that, you're going to take your lid, and you're going to screw it on. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your casing and your bullet, and you put it inside with the knob facing the top. Then what you do is you screw it on the back end of your lid, then twist it a little bit harder until you hear the air come out and the nitrogen infuse your coffee. Next thing you do is you hold it down by your hip, your hip, shake it one time up and down. If you shake it any more than that, it'll create too much foam. If you shake it any less than that, it won't cascade. And as you pour your nitro into the cup, um, it's always served black, but if customers want cream, sugar, or any kind of flavor into it, you put that in before you empty the, the, uh, the nitro into the cup. If there is a flavor, you are going to stir it afterwards with a spoon just like you would any other coffee. And this is a nitro coffee. If you look closely, you can see this cascading. And that's a perfect nitro coffee. Empty the excess and let all the nitrogen out of the bottle before you take the lid off. Then you would disassemble it, wash, rinse, sanitize, and start all over again. All right, guys, so this is like what not to do when you're making a nitro coffee. What you don't want to do is you don't want to overshake it, okay? Because overshaking it would cause a lot of foam. All, you would, all that would come out was, would be foam. But you also don't want to undershake it because what would happen is it's not going to have enough foam and it won't cascade when you pour it out. Um, so you start down by your hip. You come up once and come down once in one swift motion. That should be perfect enough to have a good nitro coffee made. A nitro coffee. What it is, it's cold brew infused with nitrogen. Um, it's for a bold taste, a smooth, creamy texture, and it's served cold without no ice. It's really crucial that you know the right amount to shake because um, you can put too much foam or not enough foam in your drink. If they want a flavor, sugar, or anything added to it, you add that before adding the nitro to the cup. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts' old slogan used to be America runs on Dunkin'. Not no more. It should be American runs on nitro. I got mine, go get yours today.